it's the 3rd of the December. It's day three of Vlogmas. Um, we are having real fun doing it, aren't we? Yes. Yes. We're in the car. I'm not driving, so don't, don't panic about it. Um, Scott's going for a run along the seafront. What are you doing? You're doing... It's a 24 day challenge. 24 day 24 challenge. 24 runs in 24 days. 24 runs in 24 Best days. Of 24. Best of 24. He runs anyway, so it's not like it's... Um, but you've got to do it every day, haven't you? At least three miles to qualify a run. Every three miles, and then he puts it on his um, Strava, don't you? Uh -huh. And then people know he's done it, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to Weymouth, he's going for a run. I'm going to go and get some bits from Wilkinson's because who doesn't love a Wilkinson's? So there's not one in Dorchester, so we have to go to Weymouth. And I need to go in TK Maxx. I know it's not as good as Home Sense, but they might have some stuff in there. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. I've just noticed that my battery's flashing. So my battery died. So um, that's my cat. Did you just hear that? What was that about, Rita? Rita. I don't know why she's um, making a lot of noise. So um, Scott's going to open his advent calendar. We just had lunch, a bit late, but just had lunch. So you've got to find number three. Can you find it? Can you find it? Yeah, got it. Oh, that was quick today. I'm hungry. Uh, oh no, what flavour is that? It's a gold one. Are they white ones inside? That one is white chocolate truffle with a smooth melting filling. I think you'll like that, won't you? I expect I'll give it a go. You know. Have a look. Oh, that looks lovely. So, it's my advent calendar. Number three. What do you know? Show. Mm. Just trying to read what it says because it's in French first. Precious scented shower oil with golden shimmer. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's we'll smell it. Oh, it's, it's all wrapped up. I won't be able to smell it. I do that. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It smells like Decor type stuff. I might take that away with me next weekend. Perfect. So we're on our way to get our real Christmas tree. There's a garden centre in Poundbury. This is the Disney tree. The Disney tree. This is surprisingly called the Poundbury Garden Centre because <laughs> it's on Poundbury. But they also have amazing like Christmas decorations and uh, every year don't they all the way yep. through so we'll walk through there as well before we choose our tree now I don't know about you me and my husband rarely argue do we nope. but usually <laughs> there's quite a discussion about how big our real Christmas tree is going to be right every year yeah so when we first were married it was like the tiniest one we could get and now I want the biggest one I can get and uh, he's never that keen are you lovey it's getting rid of it, aren't it? Yeah, it's not the tree, it's getting rid of it. But we did find out last year there was a collection scheme, didn't we? No, it's not working. So he says. I've had a letter and an email. Uh, but yeah. I have. I've got a completely changed. Yeah. I didn't want to you, Anyway, that's about the only thing we ever argue about. So we'll see when we get there. So this is a gar this is a Poundbury Garden Centre walkthrough. Uh, so it's all in different themes. This is Games of Game of Thrones, this section. If you watch Game of Thrones, there's a dragon on the ceiling. Which is interesting. And uh, pretty gobbles. Oh they're pretty aren't they? I like them ones. I don't know what don't want to. Then you go through to the like Christmas polar bear type section. And there's all those things like this is where I got all my little light up animals. Oh look at this one Scott. Oh, I feel like I need that one in my life. Uh, three skirts over there. I feel like I need that one. Why? What do you think? Because it's gorgeous. Little bobbin penguins. And there's polar bears. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? And then you come around to this section, and it's all sort of hand, handicraft type decorations. Handicraft. 
Christmas jumpers. Somebody's probably worn them out, haven't they? Playing with them. There's a Christmas hoodie there. Oh, that is a good hat. <laughs> I mean, you can do it like oh, that. Wait. <laughs> no, I, that. I like that hat. Then can I have the big hat on? Only three pounds. Oh, bargain. I'm into sort of a watery scene. Fair, huh? Oh, they're like birds. No, they're like kingfishers, aren't they? Very strange fairies, Lovey. You have to get that. Which? Fairies, I've heard. Activities. It'll be totally strange. Well, wow, my sorry. Cheese in time. These are too small, aren't they? It's got to be as big as this, or as big as me. Bigger than me, isn't it? So. Yes. Well, it's too hard, is it? Anything bigger than four foot, then? I quite like that one. A bit bare, huh? the middle. This one's bushy. Well, it's bushy at the bottom, then it goes thin. Keep looking. Keep looking. That's alright. We need a non-droppy one. That's not a bad how price. Do you know, how do you know what's a non-droppy one? Um, they've got those type of needles, haven't they? I have no idea. I'm not a tree expert. Oh, needle fast, but it's got on the label. What's that mean? It's got on the label here, look. What? Needle fast. Uh, after our discussion, we've just discovered they actually collect them. Which is excellent, isn't it? The advantage of collecting your tree from the Poundbury Garden Centre and you only live in Poundbury is your husband can carry it home. You look like Father Christmas, darling. <laughs> so I have to have a nice cup of tea in my Christmas mug. Gingerbread tea. I just bought this out of TK Maxx. It smells like gingerbread, man. So we'll see if it tastes like it. So we went and bought another tree for up here because I said yesterday we live in a townhouse. So I was really sad last year that I didn't have a tree up here. I think Scott thinks I'm absolutely bonkers. Do you, Scott? Yep, nothing new there. I think I've lost a lot. So I've just been to Wilkinson's and bought just a little cheap, cheap tree. So we'll see what it's like when we get it out of the box. But I can't actually get it out of the box. I might need your help, Louise. It's got a nice little tree, isn't it? Coming along. So I've got different colours for this one because these seem to be the mo the colours of the year, didn't it? These sort of browns and stuff. You know, every year there's a different colour for decorations. Um, I wouldn't normally have chosen these, but I thought well, actually might be a bit different. I have a bit different. Want to go a bit random downstairs with this Disney tree. Can take all night that one, isn't it? it? Does take a long time usually, isn't it? So are we done now? Well, I think so, but I think I need to reposition a lot of the bobbles because now we've moved it into the corner. I just need to tidy it up a bit. Does it really matter? You're only going to see it at bedtime. I like it. <laughs> There's a tree now home and Scott's now doing what he does. His job is always the lights. He's like the rigging man, aren't you? <laughs> it, it, it does all the electronic side of things. I didn't think it was going to be big enough, but now it's in the house, it's actually quite big. So this is a tree we always have decorated with all our crazy Disney decorations and all the things we've collected over the years. So um, it's a bit like Christmas has thrown up on it by the time we've finished. I'm now unwrapping some of my favourite Christmas decorations. Now, some of you might not get this if you're not Disney massive fans like me, but I love the trash cans at Disney. And I've got I've got quite a few of these now, haven't I? These uh, are from yeah. the character yeah. warehouse. So this is the one from yeah. Frontierland. That one's from Tomorrowland, isn't it? Aren't they just so gorgeous? How much can I tell? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've also got ornaments of these all over my house as well. Um, I should I should do a whole vlog about trash cans at Disney, I think. Maybe that wouldn't be good. I don't this know. is one of my favourite. Oh yes, of ornaments. course. Oh, well. No, How cute is that? Like to smell of a plastic Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> so this year we went on a very merry Christmas cruise. Um, to get to sell. Uh, money pit is a tear down. At, uh, from Port Canaveral. 
And we went on the Disney Dream, and this is the Disney Dream. So that's a really special one, isn't it? And I also got this one, Disney Cruise Line 2017, in the hope that it wouldn't be the last time I went on it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm going to try and put this on the other top, I think. Come wrap it, it's ever so heavy. Oh, that looks nice there. Look, look. Is it? Yeah. That's got no string. Go on. And the Disney tree is done! Can we put this light on there? Have to put the lights on there. Doesn't it look beautiful? So I've decided this year not to put any other baubles on because we've got enough Disney ones. So we've got our Disney Cruise one, we've got Walt Disney with his... <laughs> that's the statue that's in Magic Kingdom that you always know you're home when you're there. There's the boat, there's um, Gaylord Palms Ice that we went to this year. We've got Universal ones from years before. We've got Trash cans, my favourites. Sea World. Sea World. Star Wars, because it's got like Star Wars. Gingerbread Mickey. We've got Nurse Minnie. We've got. We're going to hang our magic bands on as well. I've only got one on there at the minute, but we're going to get all our magic bands and hang them on. We've got Minnie. We've got my new ones here. And we've got Hula <laughs> Minion, which Scott bought. He's got a thing about minions. Uh, and one from 2008, one from 2014, one from 2009. They're just so lovely. So I don't think we need anything else. What do you think, Scott? Just leave it like that. So we decided to end day three of Vlogmas with the traditional English tradition. Festive Indian curry. Festive Indian curry. Indian curry. Because we are exhausted. We've, decor we've finished decorating the whole house now. Sorted out stuff, got organised for work. And the thought of cooking was just like, no way. So we're going to have our Indian, go home. Scott's going to watch X Factor. I'm going to do a bit of studying. And there ends day three. We'll see you tomorrow on day four.